What is a 401k? So you're sitting at your new employee orientation, like so excited about your new job, and there's a woman up front talking about, oh, we have great health insurance benefits, and she's telling you all the rules to follow so you don't get fired. And then she starts talking about, oh, we have a great 401k program with great match, and everyone around you is like, oh yeah, this is so awesome. And you're sitting there thinking, I don't wanna be the one person that says, um, hello, excuse me, what is a 401k? But don't worry, a lot of the other people were thinking the same thing. Because it's not very intuitive. Why is it even called a 401k? Well, it has to do with the tax code, but you don't have to know that. All you have to know is how it works, why you need one, and how to set it up. It's really just a little common sense. A 401k is one of the most common types of retirement savings accounts. So it's set up by your employer and it has great tax and savings advantages for you. So the way it works is you contribute a percentage of your annual income. So your gross annual income, your salary before taxes. So the money comes automatically out of your paycheck before taxes every month and goes directly into your 401k account. And you don't pay taxes on the money until you withdraw it in retirement. One of the biggest perks of a 401k is if your employer offers a match. So basically the way it works is let's say you put in 6% of your annual income to your 401k and your employer will put in 3%. So what many companies do is they put 50 cents on the dollar. So when you put in 6%, they put in 3%. And that's basically free money toward your retirement. So if you have a 401k matching program with your company, try to at least contribute enough to get that employer match. It's free money. So when you're just starting out, maybe you can't afford that 6% or whatever the maximum is for your employer to give you the match, start small. Start by contributing 1% of your income toward your 401k. Then every six months, bump that up by another 1%. So after six months, it'll be 2%. And those differences, that increase is so small, you won't even notice the money missing. And it will give you big savings over time. And it'll also help you start developing better habits. So what a lot of people get confused about is okay, so now I know what a 401k is and I'm contributing X amount of my paycheck every month and every year, where does that money go? What am I supposed to do? Is like, there's some account I'm supposed to log into? Well, yes, no, maybe. So with a 401k, the best thing is, is you can set it and forget it and let it grow. You don't have to actively manage it and make decisions on investments when you don't really know what you're doing. So the best way to do it is to set a target retirement fund. So basically you pick a date closest to when you're gonna retire. So if you're in your mid to late 20s, it'll be around 2060. And then the company where your 401k is, they make the investment choices and they make all the decisions about the investments. So just set it and forget it and let it grow. And then in a few years, or even you know sooner than that, when you're ready, start to reevaluate your 401k and look at how it's invested once you know a little bit more about investing. But when you're starting out, just set it and forget it and let it grow. There are two big mistakes that people make with a 401k. So I want you to avoid these at all costs. The first one is borrowing from it. Don't do it. You're working so hard to save and working hard for your future, for your retirement. So keep that money there so it can grow. When you take money out of your 401k and you borrow from it, thinking, you know, I'll pay it back down the road. Well, paying it back becomes a lot more difficult than you thought. And you also take a big amount of that money that could grow over time because you're going to get taxed when you take it out. The second big mistake that a lot of people make is investing their 401k money in their own company stock. So here's what I mean. So you set your target retirement fund so you don't have to worry about your 401k investments. You don't have to make any decisions. But if you are actively managing it, meaning you're actually picking and choosing what the money is invested in, some employers give you the option to invest the money in their company stock. So you take the money and you basically buy the company stock. So the company stock goes up, the earnings on your money goes up. But if the company stock goes down, the earnings on your money go down. So if all your eggs are in one basket and something were to happen to your company, there goes your job, your salary, and all of your 401k retirement savings. So if you have that option, Try to limit it to only 5% if you're actively managing your 401k. For more on 401ks and other options to invest for the near and long-term future, 
Go to Clark.com slash common sense.